So this is the finished Dakar. Um, this video is going to be about the final steps, the polishing. But before I started, I just wanted to say thank you if you stuck through this whole process of making this piece. Um, uh, and the second thing is, is this will be the last video like this that I'm going to post on this uh, MR Porsche YouTube channel. I'm just a little concerned that uh, if Porsche, the company itself, finds it, they're not going to be too happy with uh, me um, having the name of uh, Mr. Porsche or MR Porsche as a YouTube channel. So just to be safe, I'm going to start uh, uh, doing all future uh, videos on my personal YouTube page that I set up like, you know, seven years ago. It's just Michael Resnack, as, and I'll put a link to that in the description below if you uh, like watching videos like this of me w making different art pieces around these cars i'm probably going to be in gold but i don't know we'll see what uh, i get inspired by uh, so enjoy the video of how i uh, uh, polished uh, this uh, dakar and thank you again so much for taking the time to uh, watch my videos and then i start with rubber wheels start smoothing out the gold. Right, this I'm going to try to define the uh, the little hood scoops. Go through with this large rubber wheel in all the spots that I can get. This is the same wheel, just a lot smaller. So I can get into some of these crannies. So just to show what the outcome is going to be, um, as far as polishing goes, here's a 917K that I just polished. And so you can see how shiny that is and 
how dull this one is. So uh, the, the next series of steps is just taking a different, um, uh, not grade, but viscosity maybe of polishing compounds and continually polishing uh, the parts that will be shiny. Um, uh, each one like finer and finer. It's almost like uh, polishing a car where you start off with removing the, the surface scratches and then you get finer and finer with the polishing compounds until it's nice and shiny. So it's the same thing with this. I'm going to uh, not talk and just polish and probably um, time lapse this or go faster because uh, this will probably take me about 15 minutes to polish, but I'll I'll speed it up so you don't have to sit there and listen to rrr, rrr, rrr for 15 minutes. <clears throat> And then it'll come into the ultrasonic cleaner. And we'll take a steam cleaner to it. All right, so we're here at the last step of making the Dakar. Uh, if you remember at the beginning of uh, the video, I was gonna try to make this in a week in time for the actual Dakar launch date. Um, as you know, that didn't happen. I greatly underestimated the amount of time it would take to not only make the Dakar, but also film and edit the whole process. But we're there anyway at the end, um, and we have our finished car. So the last step that we're going to do is just basically, uh, now that we have it polished, is we're gonna go ahead and bend the um, uh, the lapel pin part uh, down to be uh, parallel with the car. And uh, so we'll do that. That's basically all it takes because this is 18 karat gold. It bends really easy. So we just go ahead and bend it down so that when it goes into the uh, that button in your suit, 
uh, or a sport coat, it lays flush with the uh, lapel. So that's it. Uh, I hope this was interesting for you. Thank you.